right, this is going to be a quick test of um, my new GPU, which is a RTX 3070. I'm going to compare it to the RTX 2060 Super, which is what I had before, and I still have. I actually got two of these, but because the 3070 is a little bit thicker, I can't quite fit both uh, 2060 uh, Supers in the same case with the 3070 unless I use a riser cable and I just haven't got around to setting that up yet but anyway this is just a preliminary test video I'm gonna make a more in-depth video later alright I'm gonna use this B this BMW blender benchmark as the example I'm gonna do it in CUDA and optics with each one and right here I have the pow I have a um, what's this called tech power up GPU Z I have it running this the one on the left is obviously the 2060 super this is the RTX 3070 and it's going to show you frequency temperatures um, and the power draw now the 2060 super it's at idle it's only drawing like 1.6 1.5 watts but that's because it's not actually driving the displays it's only um, uh, it's just sitting there idle waiting for blender this one the 3070 it's actually driving the display so you're gonna see 25 watts but that's what's going on there all right now let me go ahead and um, run this and I'm gonna be using the 2060 super first off and it's gonna be in CUDA and I know from experience that this will take uh, uh, roughly a minute to do I'm not gonna fast forward through this or anything just gonna let it run and you can see that it's drawing about 130 watts and of course the 2060 supers I've, I have have always run pretty good temperatures uh, especially after uh, I replaced the thermal paste last week because they were starting to get not not run hot but started starting to run a little hotter than normal which once I replaced the thermal paste the temperatures went back down to normal of course I cleaned out cleaned it out cleaned any dust out in the process all right it's up to 58 seconds Alright, one minute and three seconds, and that's on par with previous tests I've done. Now, let me uh, change this to slot two, and I'm going to run it in optics with the 2060 Super. Alright, render image, and I know from experience this should take around between 30 and 35 seconds I like optics <clears throat> optics works great for anything except for volumetrics and that's a respectable pace from one GPU especially being a 2060 is a 2060 super is a fairly low-end modern card but there you go, 31 seconds. That's not bad. But let's see what the 3070 will do. Let me go to slot 3, go back to CUDA, turn off the 2060, go up to, to the 3070, and click Render. Now let me turn this back on. Now immediately you can see that the 3070 is pulling more power. It's pulling... Uh, roughly 190 195 watts I haven't seen it peak over 200 yet which it's supposed to have like a 250 watt TDP but of course I'm not overclocking I do not overclock I know oh, there it goes went over to 200 205 is what it went up to but I do not overclock I just let it automatically turbo boost all right now it's done in with CUDA in 40 seconds and how long did it take 
with the 2070 a minute and 30 so you save 23 seconds now granted some of that time is just it preparing the scene to be rendered all right let me go to slot four and put it on optics turn off the 2060 turn on the 3070 and click render and this should be pretty quick so that's not bad at all now I can tell you because I've done this before with um, without my uh, OBS running which is right here that's my screen capture utility of course that runs off of whichever GPU is plugged into the uh, is running the displays without the um, screen capture going this right here is cl closer to 17 seconds but that's interesting because if I have uh, two 2060 supers in here, it will render this with both of them running. It will render in about, I think the fastest I've ever done it was 17.9 seconds. And that was without uh, any screen capture or anything. But typically it was around 18, 18 and a half seconds with screen capture. So basically the 3070 is almost identically as fast as two 2060 supers or at least it is on this BMW benchmark all right now just for fun let's turn on both of them let's do CUDA first and let's render see what was it that was uh, 103 and uh, 40 is what it took so I'm going to assume it's going to take about 30 seconds, I'm guessing, to do this in CUDA with both GPUs. Alrighty, let's see what it does. Alrighty, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going to be right about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, last 26 seconds in CUDA with both of them. So now let's move on to optics and see what it does. Click render. And this should be quick. I'm guessing 12 to 13 seconds. Yeah, 13.7 seconds so yeah that's not bad at all but I guess that's gonna be it for this little video I just want to put this quick video out and uh, I'm gonna be doing a more thorough review of it later on uh, I'll probably post it Monday probably I don't know if it it may not be Monday I don't know because I'm depending on how much time I want to spend doing it but anyway later people